Hey, what's up, everyone? It's PG Dizzy here from Phase Gaming, bringing you a Game Battles gameplay for a doubles match, dubs, for the dubs ladder, and it's 2v2, Skid Row, Search and Destroy, and I'm backpacking, which means carrying or holding my own without my par any help from my partner. I got a quick kill right there. Sorry to interrupt myself, but in this match, it's a 2v2. It's a spe specific ladder on Game Battles competitive gaming website which PG Gifted and PG Hype have mentioned in other videos that you can check out that I'll put in the description but what I just want to mention that it's a 2v2 which we haven't had yet on phase gaming and this is from a while ago from January I was cleaning out my computer and I found this and I didn't want to get rid of it because I mean I just absolutely carry my partner in this match I end up getting every single kill and my partner doesn't get one but it's Q4 man. But he still beats me in score because he gets the plant and the diffuse for just about every round that it happens. Let me just talk about the gameplay real quick. What we did here is that we moved around B. Um, I wrapped around the outside, he went up the middle. And now I know that the guy's in the back building because he just killed my partner. So I sort of pop out because I can't hear the diffuse yet. And I get him running around the corner. As I just want to pick myself up on that topic real quick, game battles, a lot of the teams, actually like 90% of the teams, is just all people that don't know each other in real life. They only know each other on Xbox or the console is what we would call it. And they just take it really serious. But me and Q4, man, we're just friends from school having fun. And we end up just absolutely wrecking this team. And in game battles, you have a rank from 1 to 1 million. Right there, I did not expect the rush. That is the horrendous accuracy right there. But we... What was I saying? Oh yeah, school friends. On game battles, the kids are like losers. No, sorry, not losers. Like tech nerds that just want to... They're just really like, like sort of ignorant to everyone else that if you're like not that good at the video game. And they just live for video games. So it's just cool when you get a school friend and we just absolutely slap them and on game battles you get a rank depending on like how many wins and stuff you have and at it's out of a million mine's about 80,000 70,000 around there Q4 man is about at like 400,000 like 500,000 so like our ranks are I mean mine's about doable but his is like not amazing at the moment but these kids were like 10,000 and 12,000 in the world so when we got this match we we're like alright they're gonna be good but this just proves that you can just like j just be good at the game and have fun and still be able to be good kids and they get really pissed throughout the game I didn't have my game volume recording like through my TV but as you can see we just win this round qualified that's how we, what he's known by now it's Q Foreman at the moment because as I said it's an old video but he just diffuses it and then the kids are just going nuts in game chat like you guys are like hacking you guys are in party chat when we aren't you guys can see that we're in game chat and they're just as I said the ignorant video game players as they are but I, let me get off that topic because game battles uh, could talk about for a long time right there I try to go for the pre nade I'm gonna be and I expected the rush because I have some game battles experience not to sound like like oh yeah I'm so good at game battles I have experience I just like felt that the kid clearly was gonna get mad that he's losing to school friends so he tried to rush up the middle because I've played game battles I used to play way back in the summer and then I put it on hold for a little while maintaining our YouTube channel but I got back into it sort of not really too serious but just for fun and I guess I'm just playing for fun now and I guess some of the strategies are carrying over I'm gonna be talking about the gameplay right now because it is game battles a game battles game so I think that the strategies could help others right here we rush a not really rush straight up the middle, but sort of approach A is a better word. And you saw me get the kid right up the middle. And Quinn, who's Q4 man, says he's planting. So he goes to the back stairs and I get here, which are the only two entrances. And we know that we, one of us has to get him sometime because he has to be come running in. And I get him. And we would have heard the defuse if he picked it up. But this next round, we skip. I skip it. I skip it at least because we lost it and I didn't really think that you guys were interested in seeing it unless you were my bad. But which 3-0 at the moment and this is just like the last just to show you that we lost the last round and I got killed and left my partner alone which didn't help him at all. 
and this is the final round we stay back here because we thought like they were gonna rush it again because they were getting really annoyed but there's no rushing right out of the gate so I was just like alright dude we gotta push up um he tried to go around that way which in doubles you really want to stay together most of the time or go on complete opposite sides you don't really want to have like like a comfortable distance you either want to go completely away from each other or completely together in my opinion and I'm aiming down corners because I really want to win this match to get these kids mad and to get some XP to get my GB rank up which I don't really care about anymore but this was back in January where I thought I was gonna get back into it but now I just play for fun I let my partner stay behind me because he had the bomb so I didn't want them to get bombed down and the kid ends up being right around this corner laying down the kid just loses a gunfight to me which is just completely embarrassing hit aim down sight and everything right there mister twelve thousand my ass kidding but i drop shot him there which was really embarrassing for him because he was aimed down sight and now it's just a 2v1 situation so i'm like let's do this so i'm just running around carelessly and then i realize wait i don't want him to get bombed down over there so he's he's over at the crates and i say dude don't climb up yet because he could hear you when you try to pull up and this is a nice nade spot for all you people that are looking for good montage clips or whatever there's a lot of people that always go back there and that nade just goes right over to the stairs and should kill anyone over there but unfortunately he wasn't at the stairs i thought he would be but i was like all right i'm sorry i'm saying like a lot it's just mid-afternoon vacation not too focused but anyway no excuses um, going over to B, and I'm saying, Let, let's plan B, dude. So, I let him go into B, which is pretty stupid, not having any guard on him. But I figure that if he gets caught, or gets killed, I would see the red dot on the radar and be able to shoot at whoever killed him. But I was just trusting that he'd get the plan off. Which he does, which he does, my bad. And, I have Turtle Beaches, X31, so I can hear if they pick up the bomb. So I tell him, um, wait around, I'll tell you if he picks it up. I hear him pick it up, and I get him. I almost didn't get him, and Q4 man would have gotten a kill, but he didn't. Final score ends up me going 7-1, and one, and my partner going 0-5 or whatever, 0 and whatever. but this gameplay is coming to a wrap, and I'm PG Dizzy. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.